Hi, welcome to Art with True Color. This is Carly. Today I'm going to show you guys an art journal page that I am doing with glass bead gel. So if you've never used bead gel before, it's similar to a very light modeling paste with a bunch of little bitty beads in it. So you get this really cool texture from using it. Um, and the texture allows you to do a lot of different things with distressing. So we can go ahead and get started. Um, I just started out by scooping a good amount of the glass bead gel onto my palette. And then I'm going to add some paint. So I'm going to use two different colors. This is a phthalo blue um, green shade and it's a golden heavy body paint. So I'm just going to add some of this. And because I don't want my, uh, my base to be super dark, I am going to also add in some golden heavy body teal. So we'll add in a little bit of this as well. That should hopefully give me enough to cover the page. And you don't want just like barely enough to cover you, your page. You want to have enough that you can build up some places and have some more, um, you know, some, some thicker texture in some places on your page. Okay, so I've mostly mixed that. I don't want to mix it completely. Um, but I'm just gonna gonna get it mostly there, and then I'm gonna start to scrape it onto my page. So you'll hear it kind of sounds almost like sand is in your paint. That's it's very similar to what the texture is like. And I'm just gonna glop it all on here, and then after I get it on, I can play with smushing it around a little bit. So usually what I like to do is start with it concentrated in the middle and then start working it out towards the edges. And you don't want it to like perfectly cover everything because the more little lines and variations that you have, especially around the edges, the more um, that will let you see the distressing when you go back in and start to distress it with stuff. So you kind of want it, you know, to have these very organic lines and these kind of jaggedy edges. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna let this dry and then we will come back and I will show you how you can distress the page to get a little more detail in your texture. Okay, so I am back. I have let this dry completely. I just let it dry overnight. One thing I do want to point out, now this is pretty heavyweight paper. It's around 140 pounds. Now, the thicker that you layer on your bead gel, the thicker you want your paper. So, I did this pretty thick, and you can kind of see there's some rippling to it, which I'll try to work on straightening out a little bit. Um, but really super heavyweight paper um, would really work best if you're going to do a lot of really heavy, thick layers. Um, so, now that it's dry, I'm going to distress the... Um, the page. So there's all of this texture with the little different bumps. This is where you can really get creative. Um, I am going to work with some Delusions spray ink and some um, Dr. Martin's India ink. And I have like, you know, two or three colors of each one. And I'm going to stick in like the blues and the greens. 
Now my background is kind of a medium blue, so I'm going to use some that are darker and some that are lighter than my background. Um, and then I'm also going to throw in a few, these are the Karen Dosh Neo Colors. Well, I'm not going to use pink, but my lime green doesn't have uh, a wrapper on it, but um, so I'm going to throw in a few of these as well. So um, to start off, I am just going to start by picking one of the darker inks and dripping the ink all over the background here. So what I want to have happen is for these darker colors to kind of sink down into the little ridges that are in my page. And I'm going to take a paper towel and just kind of wad it up and start blotting this around. So I'm going to do this um, a few more times with different colors. Okay, so now I have most of my background covered with um, India ink. I'm going to go in with the Delusions ink spray and kind of do the same thing. So just squirt it randomly all over the page and then come back in with a paper towel and blot up the excess. Okay, so for this last part, what I'm going to do is I have, this is actually just like a little toddler's plate full of water. You can use any shallow dish, but I am going to take this shallow dish with water, and I unwrapped my Caran d'Ache crayon. This is one of the lime green colors. And what I'm going to do is set it down into that water. Now this is a water-soluble wax pastel. And when it sits down into the water, it almost starts to melt a little bit. So after it sat there for a little bit, um, I can now rub it across the top of here. And the bumps that are raised up will start to pick up this color. And now it might be um, a little bit hard to see in the video, but when I post the pictures of it, you'll really be able to see how this adds an extra little detail to it. So I'm just rubbing it pretty hard um, across the top of here so that it picks up this color. Okay, so while that is drying, I am going to make some flower petals. Okay, so I have a handful of these petals that I'm going to glue down onto my page. Now because you have a really bumpy texture with the page, there's a couple of things that you can do to make sure that the papers that you glue down remain smooth. Um, the first option would be some sort of leveling medium that you can get um, that basically fills in all of the little gaps with like a clear plastic acrylic. Um, so that it makes your surface level. I don't have any of that, so what I'm going to do, I have something called Yes Paste, and it's just a regular, you know, glue, but it's really thick. So what I'm going to do, if I can get it open here, so since it's really thick, um, I can basically scoop it out and put it onto the back of one of these petals, 
in a very, very thick layer so that when I go to put this down on um, my page, it kind of goes down into all of the little crevices. So let me show you. So I can stick it on and the really thick paste goes down into all of those little cracks and stuff um, so you don't see any of the bumpiness on the, um, the top of the petal. When we were younger we thought everyone was on our side Then we grew a little and romanticized the time I saw flowers in your hair so it takes a boy to live it takes a man to pretend he was there so then we grew a little and knew a lot okay so for the lettering I'm just gonna write the words on a regular index card I do use these a lot in my journal um, just because it's it's cheap <laughs> it holds a pretty good amount of um, paint or whatever and you know just easy to use so I'm gonna go ahead and work on my lettering now. and this is just a regular sharpie paint pen in black I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed So show me family All the blood that I will bleed So that's it. Hopefully you have found this tutorial useful and if you haven't given bee gel a try before maybe you'll give it a go now. Um, if you like what you saw here today please subscribe to my channel. I will be adding more videos just like this in the future. Thank you.